You're coming to be my, my cleaner, you said? No. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys will be crying. Oh, well, you're not, not Japanese. But it's free content. If you don't want to watch it, quite literally. Savaloys, welcome back to another sick Monkey London episode. Today we've got an awesome video coming up on the BMW Dugget machine. Mr. Kyle from Defined Coding is coming down to give me a few cheeky little enhancements on the Zim Zimmer. The Sora Zim have very kindly given me a new Cub Sport shifter because the old Fanatec one broke. Very aggressive drift driving does seem to hammer the old Fanatec stuff, but the Sora Zim stuff, to be fair, has been absolutely mint. There she is down there, looking pretty sick. I'm gonna be doing loads more content on the Bad Boy Simulator very, very soon. I actually did some epic skids the other day in the DCGP Aristo, which is kind of like a little bit like a replica of my JZX 700 horsepower JZ powers. I'll chuck a little clip in here. As you can see, it sounds absolutely mental. Before we head off in the car, I have some awesome new Monkey London goodness back in stock. We've got the ML Classic Grey T-shirts. I'll go and grab them now. Proper sick now. I've actually got brand new T-shirts. The old ones were really, really sick, but these are even better. Here's the black one. Looking lovely. We've now got a new textured ink as well, so the ink actually sits on top of the T-shirt. Um, they're really, really sick. He's not going to lie. They are the best you can get. They're organic. They're a slightly more relaxed fit than the old ones. We've got the grey ones, which is what I'm wearing now. Very nom nom. I've got all new JZX t-shirts as well. Look at the quality of that, man. Oh, these are the hoodies. Extremely nom. You are literally never going to find a better hoodie than this. People say, oh, it's summer. You shouldn't sell hoodies. Mate, it's England, it's UK, it's cold at night and you can still wear it in the winter. But yeah, at night I have to wear a hoodie because it is like 12 degrees here. Beautiful embroidery, over 10,000 stitches. They've got side logos, Monkey London neck labels. The quality is second to none. Ring spun, cotton, metal draw cords, metal eyelets, fleece lined inside. I promise you now, if you want to go and buy a Ralph Rem jumper, don't do it. They're like 200 quid and they're made in a sweatshop. I hate to say it. These are made in the UK with love and I send every order out with a custom note and loads of little trinkets it's like Micro Monkeys, extra stickers. Buy Monkey London goods because they actually are sick. And these are the greys as well. One of my favourite. I wear my grey jumper all the time. So much so I should probably wash it because it absolutely stinks of monkey. So you've got a slightly sort of lighter logo all embroidered. And look at that, man. All that double stitching. They really are sick. These. I'm not just saying that because I'm selling it. These, this isn't like YouTuber merch. This is stuff I've gone to town. I spent over 500, nearly 600 quid getting loads of sample hoodies made. It took me six months to develop these hoodies. I really put the time in, and ultimately, I want you guys to have sick products. Prices are gonna stay the same. I'm never gonna change the quality, and yeah, they are literally next level. Anyway, enough jibber-jabber for the intro of the video. I will see you in the BMW. Welcome to a very sunny day here in English Island. The weather has been bellissimo for the last literally two, three weeks. In fact, about six weeks it's been absolutely next level. Does anyone else find that air conditioning gives you a bit of a like tickly throat? I don't think I've ever had a car with working aircon, and I find in this, as much as it keeps you cool, um, it does kind of give you a bit of a funny throat sometimes. As you guys can see, this car is pretty goddamn controllable. The one thing I will say is that the throttle on it, when you have it in Sports Plus, which obviously gives you kind of the most performance orientated setting, it does make the car quite edgy. And I was chatting to a few people earlier on my Instagram. Oh yeah, make sure you give me a cheeky little follow on Instagram. Oh shit, tractor. Only problem with going to the farm, you do get tractors and crazy shit. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I am having a problem on social media where the algorithm is cutting massively my amount of likes and comments. It's basically not putting me into the feed. And I actually really, really, really 
need you guys to give me a hand with it. So lots of comments, lots of likes. Feel free to kind of check on the Monkey London Instagram account. Um, you'll see I've got 110,000 followers and if you go and look at pretty much anyone else with that amount of followers, they get on average five to 8,000 likes per post. I'm lucky if I get 2,000. Most of them are like 800 to 1,000, which is like 0.5% of my audience. So yeah, something very fishy going on, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail. My main task is to get out there and do drifting, get behind Great Britain and literally smash it and nothing will stop me. And yeah, if you guys can kind of help me, because at the end of the day, this is my business now. I do still buy and sell cars, but nothing like I used to, because I've really got to concentrate on these videos. Um, so yeah, if you guys can get behind it, really, really appreciate it. I really do need the help, guys. Today, Kyle is going to be coming down and coding the car with the GTS and the Club Sport software, which basically makes the car much better for, for John Action, is what he's telling me. Um, you can kind of modulate the throttle a lot better. You can get much better um, steering settings, traction control settings, not that we use traction control. You can kind of change the differential settings and the gearbox as well. So it should make the car a lot better for John Action, which is obviously very good for Mr. John. We'll meet him. He's got a really cool BMW 140i. He's a proper nice chap as well. Sounds right up my street. I'll take it out for a little blast afterwards and sort of show you guys what it's all about and, and give, you my, give you my results. I'll chuck Kyle's Instagram down here and his Facebook page as well and his website. I'll put all three on the screen. And yeah, if you guys give him a follow and give him a, a little shout, that would be really, really nice of you. We're actually gonna be running a Monkey London discount code as well. Um, so yeah, you guys can get 10% off if you want the same bits done to your cars. But yeah, from what he tells me, they're very beneficial. And yeah, really, really stoked to sort of meet him and get these little bits and bobs done. Sick. I do think it sounds pretty sick to be fair. It's a straight six, twin turbos. I mean, it does. When you've got it in M mode, I mean, when you haven't got it in M mode, it does sound quite quiet, which is not a bad thing if you just want to cruise around. Um, but I do find when you've got it in M mode, it does sound pretty sick, man. <laughs> got a proper nice little raster her. It's almost a little bit 2 j esque I know a lot of people think, oh, 2 j sound mental. They only sound mental when you've got a thousand horsepower. When you've got like a, a standard Supra Mark IV, they sound pretty not weak but they don't sound like all that in all fairness it's not until you run big single turbos and loads of horsepower they start to really sort of sing and i think it's the same with this i do think it sounds nice i'm not just saying that because target floor is giving me the car and i'm becoming a bmw fan but i've had a lot of bmws i've had e36 uh, m3 saloons i've had an e46 uh, i've got an e30 at the moment so i always have been a fan of m3s and the chassis is fantastic on this car if you're a, a competent driver you can really get a lot out of this car. It's sick for Duggars, so I ain't gonna lie, man. It's got loads of steering lock, loads of power, lots of grip, and you can kind of chuck them about. I will chuck Targa Flores um, details down there again. Like I said, Will's been an absolute legend. I'm actually gonna go and do a video on a Ferrari California on Thursday, which is proper cool for me. I know a lot of you guys will be crying. Oh, well, you're not, not Japanese. But it's free content. If you don't want to watch it, quite literally off. Just gonna pop in, we've got a, a mate up here now. He's a really, really sick wheel refurbisher. He's called James. He used to work for a company called Wicker Wheels a long time ago. We used to spend a lot of our youth kind of messing about outside his unit. We think I got banned from Wicked Wheels like five times to be fair, but I promised him a banner and I have actually bought him one, so I'm gonna give it to him. Here he is, man. I've been singing your praises. You're the sickest wheel refurbisher out there. Fist bumps. Ta-da! Monkey oh, London banner. Legend. Look what I gave him. Got a new Monkey London banner in the house, like a sort of Union Jack one. It is pretty sick. James is currently doing wet spraying on the wheels, but he will be doing powder coating very shortly. You're a new business as far as setting up your own business. But it does take time. Rome wasn't built in a day, and he's a very competent guy, so we're going to be doing lots of wheel refurbishes with him. He's seen my drift videos, and he knows that um, my wheels get damaged quite easily. Boy, Love you, man. I'm going to introduce you to this lovely chap, Mr. Kyle. Hello, guys. How are you doing, Mr. Monkey. And we're going to do a shout-out to Alex. Yep. I'll put Alex's Instagram down here so you guys can give him a cheeky follow. Big up, Mr. Alex, for recommending me to this fine chap. So we got Kyle's 140, but before we do the 140, 8 Series, baby. I think Ryan is going to be doing a bit of a restoration on this, so sort of bear in mind it's having a few bits done to it. I hope he doesn't mind us filming it, but yeah, that is a beautiful looking 8 Series. Saying it sounded pretty mental yeah, before. Compared to a double res and box delete, it 
it sounds yeah, yeah. sounds like an OPF car now. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's up for sale. Uh, as you, some of you guys might know, it was quite loud, so it's just had a stock exhaust put back on it. It's still running the springs and spacers. Um, the breather mods will probably be going back to how to they stock. were. So yeah, yeah it's a sad time. But yeah, these are obviously good value for money, and you can't really beat much nowadays. What horsepower was it before you took the mods off? So I was running about 450, 460 ish. So yeah, it had like stage two uh, deep sport, uh, sports cap. Double res delete, back box delete, and it was running a boot mod three stage two map. So, yeah. so that's all your own, all your own mapping work. Yeah, so we offer obviously a, a variety of services, mapping, tuning, coding, everything. We do a lot of obviously retrofit works as well, and we'll be doing the CS and GTS fashion to your yeah, car and some, cool. and some cheeky coding. Mine's got the LED facelift lights, but a lot of people kind of put retrofit the newer lights, and you can kind of code them into the car. Yeah, so it's quite common. Obviously, the pre LCIs don't have the best rear lights and front lights, so people normally want to go for the adaptive fronts, and obviously the LCI have rear lights like yours, and you know they're super pretty easily done it's a wire and a bit of coding from us and you know transforms the look of the car yeah, so definitely really, a big change really sort of modernizes mm -hmm. doesn't it quickly show you guys in the 140 they're really nice in these they're pretty much just like the m3s aren't they exactly the same pretty much and nice with the sort of the black on black it's very stealth and what horsepower is it now oh it's probably like with the with the with the sports cat maybe like 360 370 years it's still not slow but you're used to like another 100 brake honestly it feels slow what are you thinking about getting next you're kind of saying you're going over the dark side <sighs> so yeah i've been obviously contemplating mercedes it's a bit of controversial what i do and obviously the fans might get a bit upset but yeah i don't nah. know there's some some of the NA cars you can't really beat, so we'll see. A lot of you cry babies in the audience will be crying that we're not having a Japanese car on the channel today, but look at this bad boy. The R34 GTT now has a beautiful set of wings in the front. It has been uh, painted up. Obviously, it's just got a little bit dusty and stuff, but the boys will be cleaning it up real soon. But yeah, as you can see, she looks pretty goddamn striking. It's got an RB26 under the hood. About, I think, about 500 brake at the moment. But yeah, as you can see, it does look pretty sick. Gaussie's also got a Lexus ISF, which is a V8. They're pretty cool, these cars, a little bit sleepy, a little bit kind of like the M3. I believe they're about 450-ish horsepower. You can probably correct me in the comment section. Nice looking car, that cheeky little twin exits at the back. Anyway, this video is about BMWs. We have the man with the coding kit. And the magic laptop. Yeah, man, very cool. Should we jump in? Yeah, definitely, let's do it. Carl and I also having a little chat about his dad's got the new M5, which is four-wheel drive, which I think is very sick. Obviously, we saw the review on Top Gear, pretty sick. We were talking about the M3s, though, and the new ones, I think some people in the audience said some of them are gonna be, they're gonna do like a special edition rear-wheel drive one, but every, the majority of the mainstream ones are gonna be four-wheel drive. Yep. What's your thoughts? I'm not a big fan. I mean, the F90 comp is amazing. The fact that it has the rear-wheel drive split and the four-wheel drive functionality, for me, it's a it's a no-brainer, but it's taken away from that sort of BMW fundamental of being rear-wheel drive. Yeah. You know, that's what everyone loves them for. So oh, if the mainstream model is fully four-wheel drive, they might do a rear-wheel drive sort of special edition one, but no doubt it'll be mega expensive. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Just like the Heritage Editions, obviously, you get the M4s now, but... Yeah, I don't know, with the whole E regs and everything, I, I don't know, we're gonna see. We have to wait and see how yeah. they come out. So we're just connected to the car, connected directly via OBD Enet cable down here and into my laptop. Uh, I'm gonna be running through uh, Monkey London with obviously the various options you can have coded. And we're gonna be doing obviously the CS and GTS flash. So what this will do is remove some of the kangaroo feeling from the gearbox. It will also transform the rear of the car so you get sort of more slip in your M1 MDM modes. And then we're gonna be doing the CS GTS steering flash. So you get more responsive feel from the steering and the suspension. The car should feel generally more planted as you drive it. Okay. Obviously, you know, everyone everyone loves a bit more, yeah, I'm a bit more slides. I'm excited, man. <laughs> with the flash as well, hopefully, I mean, what I'm kind of expecting is just to get that slightly better modulation with the throttle, like I was explaining on the way here. It is a bit edgy for the average Joe, who's not saying that people can't drive, but if you're not kind of doing skids, you kind of want it on or off and just plant it. And with this, obviously, it generally changes the, the feel and responsiveness of the throttle, and obviously it makes it of like the CS and GTS, so you know, you don't really get much delay, and the car is not as sensitive as it usually would be, but you know, the power is there when you need it, cool. and it definitely transforms the feel of the car, so yeah, I can't, I can't recommend it enough one thing we're going to do for john as well because i can imagine even though he doesn't drive in comfort a lot uh, or eco pro we're going to turn his stop start off so at least it's on the oh, way so i if hate you, stop if, stop is it orange button on which means is, is that now off? that now means it's off yes because ah, i kept getting it wrong i kept getting traffic lights and the fucking things kept stopping <laughs> we're going to code it on memory for you so it means when you get out of the car and get back in it or remember it's, it's turned off yeah yes. and obviously it just it just works in the reverse way so once you turn it on it's back on Happy again. Days. So, yeah. Where have you been all my life, man? This is epic. <laughs> Seat belt tightens you when you're doing a dug it, which is not great because you're trying to hold the steering wheel and it's almost like pulling you back and you're going to get rid of that, which is a good thing. Yeah, so we're going to adjust the sensitivity on it so it won't restrict you as uh, much. Okay. Obviously, you will get a little bit of pull if you if you hit a certain speed, but apart from that, I got you know, you. we're going to let John 
be free. Yeah, yeah, free the John. Yeah. <laughs> when you lock the car, you've got to hold it down and to close the mirrors. Now it just automatically does it straight away. Yeah, so we've removed the what's called the uh, the window, uh, the, the mirror sort of lock delay. So now you've got one touch folding mirrors, meaning when you lock the car, the mirrors automatically fold in. Okay. When you unlock it, they fold out. We've also removed the comfort access, so it means when you hold down the unlock key, all the windows drop at the same time and lock. They go back up as well. Cool. Obviously, we've done your start stop, and we've also done the uh, the door handle LEDs on reverse. So normally at night time, you know, people have some issues parking, don't want to curb your wheel, could be expensive. Yeah. So normally that's the benefit of it, and obviously it lets you see the floor. So you know, it's, it's quite a nice feature. To Happy have. days, man. This is cool. So it's not just even like the performance enhancements. It's just like the the other sort of little trick bits you get with it. It's probably sick. Yeah. So there's tons of convenience features, and again, you know, this is all within warranty. It doesn't void any warranty, and you know, all this sort of uh, functionality is built into the car, and all we're doing is basically changing the values and enabling it. We've got video in motion, so not that John would ever be driving and watching no, videos. Absolutely but not. But mainly for John's passengers, you know, on a long distance journey, you can play a film or whatever videos you want on the iDrive screen while moving. Obviously, we don't recommend any driver to do this. And again, obviously, we don't take any liability if anything was to happen while you're watching the video. Yeah. So try and remain safe, guys. Um, we've done the acoustic lock confirm. So when you lock the car, you basically get an acoustic beep. You get two beeps for an unlock and a singular beep for lock. And it just helps you know you've locked the car, you know, it's a bit of a reminder. We've done, uh, we've removed all the disclaimers. So, you know, you don't get any sort of pop-ups for wanting to view some of certain menus and uh, items in the yeah. iDrive. And we've enabled the reverse camera in motion. So oh. what this means is that if John's driving and he wants to see out the back oh. of the car while he's going forwards and while he's going sideways, he can see that. You can and, literally uh, watch John action you can watch in it, motion. Literally, Amazing. and you can see if someone's behind you and you know, if anyone gets these cars mapped, they do split flames and sometimes people like to have this to view the flames come out the back. So yeah, yeah it's definitely a nice feature. So yeah, just imagine that guys, John does, when he does a mild John dug it, because we obviously are only doing mild duggets, but yeah, you can literally, get, you're gonna be able to see the smoke coming out of the back. Not that he will ever do that because he's a responsible driver, but you can literally watch your own smoke. What we've done for John is, because we know John's a bit of a driver and we know you like to drive a car too, obviously sharing it with John, that uh, I thought you'd be most compatible with the GTS flashes. So we've done the GTS gearbox flash, the DCT, we've done the GTS steering, the GTS TCU, so which is obviously the traction control units and the GTS rear diff flashes. Cool. So again, you should feel the differences in MDM, Sport Plus modes, and obviously the throttle response should be a lot faster. And obviously, down in the lower gears, you should get less kangarooing. Obviously, we can't completely remove it. Yeah. But you know, it should you should then you should make it a little more, more driver friendly. Feel a massive improvement. I That's think. the laptop car. Is what is it like? A, is it a, like a Dell? Dell XPS. I think for the size, 13 inch, you can't go wrong. And then obviously, the software is uh, ESIS, is what's called as a BMW dealership program, and you know allows you to read the ECUs of the car and make obviously various changes. <laughs> Mate, how many times do you get arrested a week? Mate, this is people watching my own videos in my car. So yeah, what is pretty mad is what we just found out is we don't have to be cheeky about the map now. I've been saying the whole time, I swear this car is 500 brake because it yep. feels like it. And it is. It's already been mapped by the, it's actually one owner. And it's funny enough, the guy Will got off was quite old, but maybe he kind of just thought, it's might as well, it's, it can run that power, let's run the power, but it was it's already been mapped. Yeah, so we found obviously a counter, meaning the DME's been unlocked, so it has a, some form of map on it, whether it's like a stage one or maybe it's the lower in stage two, but yeah, it's yeah. definitely been mapped. So. Crazy, mate, yeah, well, so yeah, don't change that, we'll leave that. <laughs> I told you it's 500, but I've been saying for ages, I swear this car is not 420 horsepower, and it did feel really rapid, and that's probably why, so. Sick. So that is Kyle all done now. We've done all the little cheeky features. So yeah, proper stoked. Obviously, once we, once I go out, I've got to go up, pop up to Chessington in, in a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'll take you guys with me and we'll do a, a nice little run or John will do a little run and we can sort of test out the performance benefits. But um, for now, Kyle's just going to run through um, a few of the different settings. So in the iDrive, you can see here, we've enabled a couple of extra features for Monkey London. Um, under the vehicle settings, under the lights, We've enabled, you know, the, the DRL lights to be turned on and off from the iDrive. So if you want to get a nice picture at night time or during the day, you don't want the glare from the front lights. These can be turned on and cool. off, obviously, from this option here. Uh, the DRLs, are they just like the, the rings? Yes, so that's sort of the angel eyes, as you, got the you, BMW got you. icon lights, as people would say. Yeah. Obviously, the acoustic lock we mentioned before, yeah. this option is now available at the bottom. So we'll tick this. It just means, obviously, you get the acoustic lock when you lock the car and whatnot. Quality. Driver profiles, check out my John profile. There you go, John mode. The most important mode. And obviously, <laughs> the best mode now we've made the, you know, we've transformed the car. So yeah we look forward to seeing how what john thinks of our yeah. flashes so happy yeah. days man kyle absolute star man it's been a pleasure mate yeah, absolute legend i'm really really stoked amazing to really think with these newer cars all this sort of different functionality and customization but um, kind of it's, it's kind of really reinstated my love because there's a lot of new cars out there i'm not massive fan a fan of but i don't kind of go out of my way to diss them but i will say this car is sick oh, hello. we've got my new my new no i'll say neighbor my new roommate 
new roomie. Hopefully, yeah. We're going to be partners. These, well, yeah, partners in crime. And partners on the drift sim. Quick little cheeky feature as well we forgot to mention. So we've got the rear camera in motion, but it's also got like tow bar zoom, uh, tow bar view. Yes, yeah, so it's called tow bar zoom, zoom, and it gives you sort of a bird's eye view of the reverse camera. So if you want to park close to something, yeah. as close as you can get, it will let you butt up against the wall and sort of act as if you had a caravan on the back. That's, Crazy. The, that's the feature of it. Can you actually get a tow bar for an M3? You can. You can? Yes. Who the fuck tows with an M3, man? I don't know. Mad <laughs> people. Yeah, <laughs> very mad people. And that's crazy. So if I go and do a huge backy down a wall, if I get really good precision, we can literally see it on the camera. Literally full sense, top marks from uh, <laughs> from BTCC. So yeah, we love it. We love it. We want to see it touch, touch the wall. <laughs> now, we're going to put some more JDM whips in for the Koi babies in the audience. Here you go. This and Sylvia S14. Quite cool in green. It's all right, isn't it? These are clean. These are f clean. Yeah, man. <laughs> R34. Looking pin, once they clean this up, this is gonna be such a sick car, man. Look at that. We'll give it a couple of cheeky blips because you guys love the JDMs. It also forgot the GTR in now, it looks really sick. Nice car, man. Nice bit of slip on the LSD. Mr. Pat, if you're watching, we'll be getting one of those soon. Quickly show you guys the features. So that puts the windows down if you want to air it out. It's quite good with a little noise actually, because it kind of shows it's got an alarm. Well, you'd expect that. And the mirrors go straight in. Yeah, I like that, man. Before you had to kind of hold it down for a little bit and then they close, but and that just automatically does it now. Look at that. That's it. So yeah, how mad is that? What a, what an absolute legend. Carl's a really nice chap, so we're gonna go for a, a cheeky little beer at some point. Mad thing, I knew this car was 500 brake. Every time I drove it, I was like, I swear down, it's not 420, and it's not. It's already had a map previously. So the, the previous owner liked a little bit of John action too. He was elderly, sort of shows you that, you know, even people that are a little bit older do like a more performance orientated drive. And um, yeah, like, like he kind of said, it's not really, it's not stressing the car at all. These were kind of quite underplayed when they brought them out. So it's nice to sort of um, sort of really run it at its true potential. I would like to maybe go stage two, but you've got to start doing the exhaust and stuff like Ricky stage three and you start getting the different turbos. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with the performance as it is. And you know, especially as I know it's now 500 brake. Already you can feel we're in comfort steering. I like to have the car in comfort steering because um, I do find if you put it in the sort of other modes it does feel a little bit fake now you can kind of really sort of feel you know feel the car a little bit more it feels a little bit more i guess just a little bit more assertive with the steering is a, is a good way to describe it not sure if you guys have watched my previous videos but i've got the uh, gearbox in one below race mode i might try it now he's changed or changed the flashes for the, for the gts and club sport i might try it in race mode to see if it's less jerky um, but yeah, I kind of have it just one back from that just to kind of make it a little bit smoother but it's still super super quick at changing gear. Certainly be interesting to see how it feels. You can definitely feel the steering's a little bit tighter. Um, gearbox is a little bit less jerky. We're going to stop in traffic in a, in a little bit in a town. Oh yeah, it's much smoother. Oh yeah, he's right man, look. No more jerky. Ah, oh, so much better. Mate, all the kangaroo has gone from what I can see. When you used to get down in first like that, doing about 10 miles an hour, you're like... <laughs> Definitely more controllable. John just did a tiny little wheel slip there. John is only doing skids to the left at the moment because he did he did do a couple of roundabouts, not gonna lie. The tire on one side is kind of getting a lot less tread than the other because you're kind of going one way all the time. So he's trying to keep it predominantly to going left, but we'll try our best. <laughs> before the car was absolutely sick not gonna lie but now it feels proper proper planted proper controllable proper 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 everything is proper before i gave it a firm 9.5 out of 10 now we're going to give it 20 out of 10 because it feels literally sick i can't believe it when john came out that last corner usually if you come off the gas just a little bit it's like you know it kind of loses the grip finds it and you, you end up going all over the place whereas now you can come you can come off the throttle and, and balance it in its eyes it is sick <laughs> an amazing skid car, BMW, if you're watching this, please give John a skid car like this. Hands down though, Kyle at Define Coding has completely transformed this car, he really has.
anyway, that is enough excited monkey London for one day. Like I said, Kyle, Define Coding, please give him a little follow. He's transformed the car. I've said it a million times, but it really is a next level bit of kit now. Maybe I should get some budget tires and we should maybe take it to a little track somewhere and have a bit of fun in it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying the BMW content. Like I said, if you're not into your Beamers and stuff, that's fine. Wait till the next videos when we, when we do a bit more Japanese content. Hopefully, some of you are kind of just pure car enthusiasts and you love the car stuff with Monkey, regardless of the concept. Yeah, really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys soon. Peace.